So to deploy the latest Windows updates to Amazon's EC2 instance with AWS Patch Manager, we first need to add a tag to our instance or instances. I'm only using a single instance at the moment. So a tag will enable us to group the servers. So the key has to be patch group and the value, I will put this as critical. So you must remember to have the key as patch group, otherwise it won't work. So we'll click save on that. And through the EC2 menu, we will go down to patch baselines. So here we can create our, our baseline, which we'll call Windows 2016 critical. So the, the EC2 instance I have up and running is a Windows instance and it's a Windows 2016 server. So you'll see you've got selection, you can choose Linux, Ubuntu, Red Hat, Suzy and CentOS, but we'll stick with Windows. So in the approval rules, this is what we want to actually apply to the server. So we'll narrow it down to Windows 2016 as the product classification. We'll take critical updates, severity, we'll take all the auto approval delay. So you can put a delay in here. So if a patch comes out, you can choose to install it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine days later. We'll stick to zero at the moment. And the compliance level, uh, again, you can specify critical, high, medium, low and informational. This is the severity of the compliance violation if the patch isn't deployed. So we'll put that as critical. In patch exceptions, we can put a list of approved patches in here and we can also reject patches. So having created the baseline, we will associate that baseline with our patch group. So do actions, modify patch group, and then here we'll add critical. So once our patch baseline is defined, we can then go to create a maintenance window to run this patch baseline. So we'll call this critical servers 2016. We're not going to allow unregistered targets. We will register our targets later on. We'll set this to run every day at 11.30. So next we need to specify our maintenance window duration. We're going to make that six hours so the patches get applied and we'll stop initiating any tasks one hour before the maintenance window closes. Basically stop initiating any tasks, we'll stop deploying patches so that our maintenance window can end cleanly. So we'll just create maintenance window. So now we have our maintenance window, we need to assign target instances. So we'll register them. So we'll call that critical servers 2016 and we'll put the owner information, IT department, and then we'll specify a tag. Then we want that patch group called critical. So we'll register targets, that's done. And then finally, we need to register a task. So we'll register run command, call that critical servers underscore task. So under document, we need to select AWS run patch baseline. Task priority, we'll leave at one. Then we need to select IAM role, which is our maintenance window role. You're going to execute it on one target. So you can select a percentage. So if you have multiple servers, which you probably will, then you can select 50% or you can select a number of targets. We are going to stop after, and that's basically if we see one error, we're going to stop the operation. So the operation we're going to carry out, we're going to do a scan, not an install. We'll just do a scan to see what patches are missing. The snapshot ID, it's a unique good used by patch managers to ensure that a set of instances that are patched in a single operation all have the exact same set of approved patches. As we're doing this in a maintenance window, the snapshot ID will be created automatically. You can also specify an override list. This could be an S3 bucket or a URL which has patches in it. And you can put your comments in here. In the advanced section, we can write to S3 and we can also enable SNS notifications. So the SNS notifications will send a notification on successful completion or if you've got any errors. We're going to write our output to an S3 bucket. So what will this do? This will place a text file with the results of the scan or if you're installing the patches of the actual install. So once that's done, we just click register task. And now we can wait for the first execution of the scan. So now you see our task is in progress and it's been successful. So at this point, we can switch from the EC2 menu across to the systems manager menu. And if we look at the maintenance window in systems manager, we can get some detail around the task that's just run.
we look at history, click on view details. So you'll see the task name AWS run patch baseline. So we get the parameters where you can see it, it's been doing a scan of the server. We click view output. So it's telling us that the complete command output is in Amazon S3. So let's go to S3. So we go into this bucket. And then we open the file. And there you'll see the results of the scan. So it's actually telling me that it's found no missing updates. So this server does not need to be patched at the moment. If it did, we could go back into Systems Manager or into the EC2 menu. We can edit them from either. We go into the Maintenance window. We go into Task. Edit the task. You see this is a slightly different menu from the EC2 one, so it's good to look at it. And then Parameters, you can change from Scan to Install. Or you can go back into the EC2 menu. Again, we scroll down, find Maintenance window, into tasks and you can change the operation from scan to install thank you for watching this video